Well, it's uh, almost October, and that means Halloween is coming up soon. And this decoration is showing its age a little bit, um, and unfortunately, you can see it is falling apart. But I think I can actually create something quite similar. Looking at this, this thing is actually hollow. I think it was actually plaster. So making it out of wood, I think will actually produce something that's much more durable. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a smaller version of this. Uh, clearly this isn't quite as tall as the ghost, but if I take Cut maybe this in two. All right, I've got about 24 inches, so I will set my fence to be 12 inches. I could make one big one, cut this in half, and two small ones, and have a family of ghosts. I like that idea. That's 18 inches, so I'll set the table to nine inches. First of all, I'm going to sketch on a ghost or three. So what I need is I need maybe a tail on one side, an arm, so a tail on one side, an arm that goes up like this, a head, maybe some sort of hood, another arm, the great thing is it's just such a freedom to draw anything that you like. You can really let your imagination go wild here. And pick anything you want. Now there are all sorts of ways to clean this up. Um, you can use a chisel maybe, you can use your, some sandpaper. Uh, I have an orbital sander which can get into some of these positions. I'm probably going to use a combination of the uh, orbital sander in a couple places and something to just kind of rub this down. Well, it's not exactly the shape I drew. It's pretty close, a couple of spots here and there. But it's good enough, and it's going to be painted, and I think this is going to look just great. For the base, I'm thinking about, you know, like that. I probably only need about that much of it. So I'll cut that out on the table saw. Okay, so I'm going to paint the bases of these black, and then I'm going to paint the ghosts themselves white. And after that, I'll paint on some mouths and eyes and other ghoulish features.
I really probably ought to wait a little bit more for this to dry. It's uh, still just a bit tacky and in fact when I was playing with it you can see I kind of got a little bit on my hand there. But what can I say, I'm really impatient and very excited about this. So I've got a little bit of acrylic paint and I'm just going to dab on some eyes. and just have fun with it. The great thing is you can do this with ghosts. I would love to see some pumpkins. And I'm just going to do that on all of these and I'll show you what it looks like once I've finished. Another cool thing is you can actually do this on both sides and then when you're putting them out for display choose whichever side you think looks best or maybe you can make a scary side and a happy side I'm going to drill and countersink a couple of holes through the bottom of this stand and I'm just eyeballing where the middle is because it doesn't matter too much These are my ghosts. Assembled, painted, uh, mostly dry, but they certainly will be by Halloween. They are ready to go out and decorate the front porch. I hope you enjoyed this project. I really hope you can come up with something creative, whether they're ghosts or something entirely different, and share a link to videos or pictures of your project, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.